Welcome to Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a truck that was utilized for lots and lots of stuff after World War II, but this one is really nicely redone. We'll tell you the story in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, where we have close to 100 vehicles, everything from this beautifully restored 1946 Chevrolet 3100 pickup truck to resto mods, stockers, uh, you name it, we've got it in stock. Take a look at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com for all our latest and greatest. There's lots of new stuff coming in all the time. You never know when that dream vehicle could be on our website. Uh, speaking of a nice vehicle, this little Chevrolet right here has been completely done. A little 46 Chevrolet, half ton, right after the war. These were very, very popular items. Uh, kind of nice that this one has been mm, redone with all the chrome and bright work has been refinished. It looks like a new grill, bumpers, bumper guardettes, uh, the hood spears on the side are all, all new and in really, really nice shape. They got the red pinstriping right in the middle, which was a uh, correct for a 1946. It also has some really good uh, rubber on this guy. He's got the uh, radials with the wide whites with the correct little Chevrolet poverty caps or just the symbols with the name Chevrolet in the middle. So uh, that's probably one of the biggest improvements for this vehicle was simply the tires because back in the days the old uh, bias tires were a lot rougher riding than what this one probably is like now today. So beautifully done in original uh, dark blue with black fenders. Uh, you could request if you didn't want the black fenders you could have body color if you so were inclined. It was one of those things that you could do. Uh, this particular truck has a, a six cylinder, but it's not the original one it came with. This uh, does have a little bit later, a 1954 235 inline six. Would have originally been a six cylinder, but it would have been 216 as we call it the dipper motor, whereas the 235 has a pressurized oil system, which makes it a lot better for longevity. And if you really want to drive it, uh, you're not quite as concerned with the old older motor that it would have originally come with. Uh, redone interior, the seats have been refinished. Uh, this one came with the uh, optional four speed, <coughs> the, the granny one as we call it, but it's a on the floor four speed. Uh, as you heard it, it starts up and runs really nicely. Uh, it's got nice running boards. They did a really good job on building this little uh, wood uh, around in the box itself. The bed also has new wood in it that uh, would, would have been standard in a 1946 with the wood. I believe this also has the uh, two tail lights, if I am not mistaken. Let's double check. Yep, tail lights, both with even a chrome rear bumper. Again, another accessory item. These actually are blue dots as well, so it gives it a little more custom look, if you will. Uh, it's got uh, two mirrors on the side, so you can actually see where you're going and whatnot. But, you know, if a guy's looking, to, these trucks are getting harder to find because they were used up. People used trucks back in the days. I know my relatives in northern Minnesota. They used them up until they were turned into a hay wagon. So this one particular uh, has been uh, granted a second life, if you will, by being all redone, repainted, nice, nicely refinished truck. So if you're looking for a uh, uh, after the war truck uh, in the price range that we have this one, you know, take a look at our, our website or you can uh, find us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram as well, where we have all the videos on all of our vehicles at, uh, at this present time. So uh, if you have any interest in coming to our store, we are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5 right here in Rogers, Minnesota. We'd love to show you around and there's like I say here's something that you could actually enjoy and it probably has some practical use too. You could probably use it as a pickup truck. It would be kind of a fun thing. So come and visit us. We've got something for everybody.